Can anyone give me a reaction if any of you had ever shopped online? Thank you. Can you also give me a reaction if any of you have experienced buying a seemingly good deal product only to find out later that it wasn't the product or brand or quality that you expected? Chances are you bought a counterfeit product. My name is Fred Baldo and with me is DG and Stu. And we're going to discuss our capstone project, which we entitled Detect a Fake, Counterfeit Product Detection on E-Commerce Platforms. Now, counterfeiting is defined as fraudulent imitation of a trusted brand or product. Counterfeiting remains to be one of the main problems, not only in our country, but also globally, as it poses significant concerns, such as introduction of dangerous products in the market, weakened regulations, diminish tax returns, and support unlawful activities such as money laundering and child labor. In fact, this problem is so serious that it is expected to breach $3 trillion by year 2022. Now, in the Philippines, we already have several laws and regulations such as Consumer Act of the Philippines, the Price Act, Standards Law, and Electronics Act that protect the consumers and address the problem of counterfeiting. However, there are still some problems in terms of monitoring and enforcement, particularly those involved in the e-commerce business. Some of the big e-commerce platforms also have introduced several policies to address counterfeiting problems. However, scammers are still able to find ways to bypass these rules and still list their products in their platforms. So our problem statement for this project is how we can detect counterfeit products on e-commerce platforms. Now, these are just some of the traditional ways we do to spot counterfeit products. We check on the price, the packaging, seller profiles such as unknown sellers, low ratings, and followers. We also look at product reviews to see if there are any indications about the product being a counterfeit. Our team believes that these features can be used to classify counterfeit products, and we want to automate this manual process. So, Given the above background, our objectives for this project are to use machine learning to predict whether or not a product listing is authentic and determine how the features affect the decision making of the model. The key stakeholders for this project include the government and e-commerce platform owners because this will help them intensify their prevention, monitoring, and enforcement efforts. The companies or owners of the brand names trademarks, and intellectual property rights of the products being counterfeited. And lastly, the end users or consumers, especially my wife in SCAM. Now, they will have more efficient way to distinguish counterfeit products and hopefully would help in the fight against this counterfeiting problem. Hi. So for our methodology, we went through five steps. First, we choose the e-commerce platform and decide on the target products. We used Selenium and Beautiful Soup to scrape the data from the website. Then we went through the data preparations before we build the model. We did then supervised modeling to create labels for the data points, then proceed with the supervised to generalize the classification. After that, we evaluate the models using the accuracy metrics. We searched for the top e-commerce websites in the Philippines and we decided to go with Lazada. Its monthly traffic is at 25 million, and it has a diverse selection of products and a large number of users. Then we look for target products. In the Philippines, the most popular product categories are electronics, fashion, and personal care. We also looked at the top counterfeited products and we found footwear, clothing, and electronics. For this project, we considered products under the categories shoes, clothing, electronics, and bags. So how do we collect our data? Well, we use dynamic web scraping using Selenium and Beautiful Soup. From lazada.com.ph, we input keywords. Then from the search results, we scrape individual product links and come up with a data set of product URLs. Then we look through this data set of URLs to get individual product details in each product page. And now we have our data set. However, the search using keywords returns suggestions that includes products that are only similar to the specified product. This could be because they wanted to promote other brands or other products also. So we have to do some filtering of unrelated searches. After that, we did the data cleaning. We removed the necessary characters, changed to correct data types, filled the nulls, and the likes. 
After filtering ng relevant searches, we were left with 70% of our original data set. This is the data set that we used for our model. Since our data doesn't have any counterfeit labels, we started with the supervised model. We did k-means and hierarchical clustering for each product category to come up with the counterfeit tags. So we were able to get two sets of tags from here. The k-means model was able to tag 48.5% of the products as counterfeit. Meanwhile, the hierarchical model tagged 43% of the products as counterfeit. Using the flagship stores or brands as our baseline for authentic products, we see that K-means tagged 88.9% of those products as authentic, while hierarchical tagged 97.6% of those products correctly. We also checked for the silhouette scores for each model. The silhouette score is the measure of the density and separation in each cluster. K-means had 70.8%, while hierarchical had 41.5%. So this means that even though hierarchical did better in tagging the authentics as authentic, the authentic clusters might have been too big that it also included counterfeit products. So from here, we see that K-means might be a better model. However, after further inspection, we see that there are still some data points that are not correctly classified. So to further improve the taggings, we also tried using manual verification to better establish ground truth for our supervised model. After this, the counterfeit to authentic ratio increased to 72 to 28. Hello everyone, Noah will be sharing the results of our analysis. So first, we've compared the price between counterfeit and authentic products, and we've seen that generally, authentic products are more expensive than counterfeit. We've also looked into the product rating, and it shows that for most products, authentic have higher rating. However, this is not the case for all. As an example, the counterfeit products of Nike Air 1 has higher rating than authentic ones. This is possible due to high selling price of authentic products. It is the same observation for the seller positive rating. Some buyers tend to be more practical and just go for the counterfeit because it's much cheaper. Looking into the common terms in the product labels, overrun, quality, and no brand are the common words that came out for the counterfeit products. To have a general classification of the counterfeit and authentic products, we also perform supervised modeling. At this point, we collected all 10 datasets from three product categories and used three models. One, a logistic progression, second, random forest, and last is XGBoost. The results of this modeling will be shared on the next slide. Here are the results of the supervised modeling. We can easily say that random forest is the best model as it has the highest score across all metrics in identifying counterfeit products with an accuracy score of 94%. Additionally, our team also checked the relationship between features that we have identified and here are the insights. There is an association between highly discounted products and counterfeit. Second, there is very little association between product rating, seller rating to counterfeit. And last is, there is a slight positive relation between seller responsiveness, shipping on time, and for them getting a positive rating. In summary, detection of counterfeit product on e-commerce platform can be achieved through machine learning. As a matter of fact, we perform two machine learning, one supervised and second is unsupervised. Price, seller rating, and authentic certification are among of the key indicators of authenticity. As for our next steps, we're planning to scale the data to include more product categories, not just one, uh, the ones that we currently have. Second is we will explore other machine learning techniques that would enhance the data labeling process. And last is we are considering to integrate advanced um, machine learning techniques such as image recognition so that we can further enhance the classification of counterfeit products. Thank you. That's it for our group.